two-step equations. Unit 1, Formidable 2, Day 3. Today we're going to be talking about the two-step equations, so it's a lot like yesterday's, but just adding one more step. So let's try a few. So number 1, 2x plus 3 equals 11. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to put my equal sign, make sure I know where that is. I want to get x by itself, so I need to move everything away from x. Okay, so when we're doing order of operations, remember we always multiply or divide before we add or subtract. So since now we're doing inverse operations, we're going to do the, undo them backwards. So we need to get rid of the adding and subtracting before we can get rid of multiplying and dividing. So for instance, on this one, we need to subtract 3 to the other side, because the opposite of adding is subtracting. And if we do that, those go away, and you're left with 2x equals, and then 11 minus 3 is 8. Now you can see that x is still not by itself. So to get rid of the 2, since they're multiplying, opposite of multiplying is dividing by 2. So you get x equals 4. And that's your answer. Number 2, x over 5 minus 6 equals 1. So again, we got to get rid of the subtraction first. So we can add 6 to both sides. I do like my, my line, so that way I don't forget where the equal sign was. Okay, so when we do that... We get x over 5 equals 1 plus 6 is 7. Now to undo division, you have to multiply both sides by 5. So you get x equals 35. Okay, two more. All right, number 3. x plus 5 over 6 equals negative 3. Now normally I would say we're going to get rid of the adding first, but because it's all over 6, it's kind of like it's in parentheses. So we need to get rid of the 6 first, since it's the whole thing. Okay, so we need to multiply by 6, because that's the opposite of dividing. So you get x plus 5 equals, and then negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. Okay, and then to get rid of plus 5, you subtract 5 from both sides. So you get x equals, now negative 18 minus 5 is negative 23. And that's your answer. Okay, so if you ever see a fraction where the whole thing on top is a fraction, put it in parentheses so you know to get rid of the bottom first. All right, number four, this 10 is in front, so we need to move that 10. Now here's some people like to add it, but really, if you look at the sign in front, since there's nothing in front of there, it's like a plus sign. Okay, since it's positive, it's a plus sign, so we want to subtract it to the other side, because that way 10 and negative 10 can cancel. Now, here's another mistake we lose a lot. A ton of people will forget this negative sign. Okay, you cannot forget it. It's there. So keep it as negative x equals 7 minus 10, which is negative 3. Okay, now just like yesterday, a negative x is really a negative 1x. So we got to divide by negative 1. Divide by negative 1. So x equals negative 3 divided by negative 1 is positive 3. Okay, write out these steps. Once we get the hang of it, we won't have to write it out anymore. But if you write it out, you're not going to make as many mistakes. All right, we'll see you tomorrow.